further and understand individually what is the meaning of excess demand. So, if you do not look here, you all will be able to tell me ki what exactly is the situation of excess demand. Okay, Yahan pe basically what is happening? Yahan pe, let's label it as O. Yeah, it says E. Okay, excess demand refers to a situation when quantity demanded is more. Your quantity demanded is more than quantity supplied. So, excess demand refers to a situation when quantity demanded is more than quantity supplied at prevailing market price. So, this is our prevailing market price. So, what is the situation hai? basically? Quantity demand is very much. Quantity demand is very much when the commodity ka price kahe, kya rahega, low. Hai? So, let's understand that market price, prevailing market price, that is your O. P2 mein demand kitna hai presently demand hai kitni this is your demand curve so OQ2 demand OP2 price mein supply kitni hai kaun si commodity le your favorite commodity let's take cheese okay cheese OP2 pe OQ2 tak uski quantity demanded hai par supply kitni ho rahi hai cheese ki to this is your supply curve yahan pe OQ1. So, यहाँ पे आप clearly देख सकते हैं कि इस price में उसकी demand OQ2 is more than quantity supplied OQ1 at this price. So, यहाँ पे basically क्या होगा with the shortage firms put up prices and supply more movement along. So, यहाँ पे basically the forces of uh, like I told you excess demand कैसा होगा excess demand को counter करने के लिए the supply the जो uh, excess demand होगी हमारी ठीक है अब excess demand है मतलब shortage है किसी चीज की और prices कम है तो supplier supply भी नहीं कर रहा कि price तो बहुत कम है तो at that time what will happen with a shortage firms put up prices and supply more shortage हो जाएगा तो firms कब उन when they'll they will be incentivized to work when there is higher price तो जब higher price होगा तो वहाँ पे firms बोलेंगे कि ठीक है हम इतने में देंगे and consumers भी बोलेंगे yes we understand and उतने पे they both agree so the ne negotiation is done between the consumers and the producers and the equilibrium is stuck again at E so this is the situation of excess demand यहाँ पे आप देख लेना O P2 price में O Q to clearly you can see the distance this is your demand and this is your supply okay this is the situation of excess demand moving further Excess supply. Now, excess supply कब होगी? अब let's not look at here. Excess supply कब होगी? Excess supply जब होगी उसकी price high होगा और supply इतना ज़्यादा है और price भी बहुत high है तो उसकी demand कैसी रहेगी? उसकी demand low रहेगी? तो अब graph से देख लेते हैं, ठीक है? This is your equilibrium again. High price O P two. अब यहाँ पे let's see supply first. These are supply curve. Supply is more OQ2. And this is our demand curve. OQ1. So you can clearly see here ki yahan pe OP2 price pe. What you can see there is more supply. You can see there is more supply. OQ1. There is less demand. Yahan pe what will happen? Because there is excess of stock present with the producers, what they will do? They will reduce the price and it will again get stuck at the equilibrium price that is our P1. That is how it is the situation of excess supply is corrected. And we move again here. Okay. So this is all about the graph. Now, excess supply refers to a situation when Quantity supplied, you see, quantity supplied is more than quantity demanded. Quantity supplied is more than quantity demanded at the prevailing market price. As for example, ye tha ka prevailing market price. So we can see here clearly that our quantities, that our quantity supplied is more than quantity demanded. This is how basically, this is what basically the meaning of excess supply is. I hope. This is clear to all of you. Moving further, what is a viable industry? So, viable industry means 
basically let's first understand ki viable ka matlab kya hota hai now viable means something that is workable something jisse kaam chal ja sakta hai hamara chala ja sakta hai hamara so that is the meaning of viable okay something that is workable sab so, yahan pe viable industry koi bhi industry ko hum log workable ya viable kab bolenge so uh, an industry is a viable industry when an industry for which supply curve and demand curve intersect with each other in positive axis okay intersect with each other now price quantity this is your demand curve and this is your supply curve and these two curves are intersecting okay that means that producers are ready to produce at a price for example here let's take it p so producers are ready to produce at this price and consumers are ready to buy a commodity at that price so that's when your demand and supply curve intersects so that is an viable industry okay moving further let's understand what is a non viable industry an industry that is not workable okay viable jo workable thi ab industry that is non viable okay so is graph mein dekhte hain but let's read it okay so non viable industry refers to an industry for which supply curve and demand curve never intersect they never intersect see you can look here in this graph that this is the supply curve and this is the demand curve they are not intersecting okay for an equilibrium to be formed or uh, for the market equilibrium you need the intersection of demand and supply curve so that the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity can be determined but here you can see that these two curves are not inter intersecting and और ये क्यों हो रहा है बेसिकली क्योंकि जो सप्लायर है ओके okay, जो सेलर है ही इज नॉट ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट टू सेल हिज प्रोडक्ट एट अ लेसर प्राइस वो प्राइस कम नहीं कर रहा है ओके okay, तो इसीलिए सप्लाई कर्व यू कैन सी इज हायर दैन द डिमांड कर्व क्योंकि सप्लायर जो एग्जिस्टिंग प्राइस है उसमें सप्लायर जो है और जो सेलर है वो अपना प्रोडक्ट बेचना नहीं चाहता है इतना हाई प्राइस है तो डिमांड भी नहीं है उस प्रोडक्ट की सो so, here in this type of industry where seller is not ready to sell a product at a prevailing price so the supply curve and the demand curve they do not intersect each other so this was all about the non viable industry and i hope this whole chapter is clear to all of you i'll see you next time we'll be learning more interesting things in a easier way okay see you next time